Unit 4 Online Buddies or Online Bullies Reading Emma got a short haircut yesterday. Satisfied with her new hairstyle, she posted a selfie on her Instagram page and made it public. A few minutes later, one stranger left a mean comment under her photo, criticizing her by saying that her hair was a tragedy. Another one said that Emma definitely offended the hairdresser because she got such an ugly hairstyle. Still another even made fun of her, joking that she looked like a toad. When Emma read these harsh comments, she felt extremely embarrassed and deleted her post right away. Does this sound familiar to you? Hurtful comments like these can actually be found on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube all the time. In fact, this is a phenomenon known as cyberbullying, which is caused by internet trolls in online communities. These trolls are often strangers who hide behind their screens and use words as weapons to attack others. They tend to upset people or spread rumors either to amuse themselves or to grab people's attention. However, these trolls filled with spite seldom receive any punishment since their identities are usually unknown. The truth is that everyone is likely to be a target of Internet trolls. If you are the victim of cyberbullying, here are some tips to protect yourself from further attacks. One way to stop the bullying is to keep away from it. You should neither respond to the bullies nor interact with them. If you engage with them, you will only get hurt. However, when the bullies take things too far, you should consider turning to someone you trust for help, such as a family member or your teacher. If things get serious, just block the trolls so that they won't be able to message you again. Naomi Watanabe, a famous Japanese comedian, set a good example of dealing with cyberbullying. She once wore an eye-catching green dress, a red and black coat, and an orange pair of stockings to a fashion event. After she posted her style online, criticism like fat, joke, and horror from netizens started coming at her. Instead of being influenced by these negative comments, Watanabe demonstrated her great EQ by replying, I only made 2% of effort and so many people are crazy about me. She was wise, wasn't she? If you encounter cyberbullying, try to be fearless like Watanabe. Let the bullies know that what they have said will not affect you. Also, be careful not to become a bully yourself. Don't let your seemingly joking comments hurt others. We can make the Internet a better place for everyone if we learn to respect each other.